Wow, being in space is so amazing. Okay, let me tell you a bit about it. You see that big blue sphere behind me? That's Earth, we live on it. The Earth has a solid surface made of rocks. We call the Earth a planet. Our planet is rotating around the sun. But the sun is not a planet, it's a star. It's a great ball made of extremely hot gas and shining bright. Look, there are also other planets rotating around the sun. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune. Some planets have moons around them. The Earth has one moon. Mars has two moons. But guess what? The Saturn has at least 82 moons. Can you imagine? All these bodies together, the sun, planets, and moons are called the solar system. In the solar system, there are also billions of smaller objects, pieces of rocks, ice, and dust. The solar system is really big. Even our nearest object, the moon, is around 375,000 kilometers from Earth. If you wanted to ride a bicycle for 375,000 kilometers, day and night, do you know how long that would take? Over two years. The sun is even further, around 150 million kilometers from the Earth. You will circle this distance for over 850 years. The passenger jet airplane would fly distance to the sun for 19 years. If only airplanes could fly in space. Most distant planet in the solar system is Neptune. It is almost 30 times farther from Earth than the sun. Our star, the sun, and our solar system seem to be big. But they are just a small part of something much bigger. A group of hundreds of billions of stars called a galaxy. Our galaxy is called the Milky Way. You can see our galaxy when the night is really dark and there is not much light around you. You can see it as a brighter stripe on the sky. It looks like milk spilled on dark sky. That's why it's called the Milky Way. This brighter color comes from the billions of stars shining far, far away. It's very difficult to imagine how big the distances between the planets and the stars are. Let me help you. Take one grain of sand and put it on your hand. If we assume that the grain of sand is the sun, the solar system will be the size of your palm. And the Milky Way galaxy with billions of other stars will be the size of Africa. Yes, when we compare our star, the sun, with the galaxy, it's like the grain of sand and the entire African continent. But it's still not the end of the story. Milky Way is not the only galaxy. There are billions of galaxies. All of them together are called the universe.